Hi everybody. Um, it was uh, it was a really good game. It was kind of tail of the tape in different periods, but I really liked the way we started and we came out and pushed and pressed right away. And did a lot of good things and got ourselves a lead. I, I don't think anybody was real happy with the second period and the way we played that. We sat back too much and you know, the, they kind of dictated what went on in the second. And then I really really liked the response of our guys in the third period. So we came right out again off the hop and pressed the action, pushed the action, played just a terrific third period. So. Did, did you have to say much in between the second and third period or was it more on No, I mean, it's, it's the players. Like it's, they, they dictate what goes on. And so we always chat between periods. But the players dictate what goes on. And I think you steer, steer a conversation once in a while. But... Um, you know, there was a, I just really liked the response. I don't think anybody was happy with the second, so. Could you just speak to the seamless transition that Vincent Church, I guess, had into that second line center spot? Well, I think, I feel like, you know, it's, you're trying to build lines in a lineup. Um, I'm sure he's been, you know, the, the guy that's played 22 minutes a night before or played 20 minutes a night or, or whatever it might be. And he fills so many valuable positions on our team. He could... I feel like he could play wing, you know what I mean? He could jump over and play wing on a first line or he could play center on a checking line. He's just a real versatile player, power player. You know, one of the first guys out the door in the penalty kill and um, just his five on five minutes. I mean, he does a lot of things out there and he does them really well. It just seems like Artemi and Alexi are making it work with no matter who's people. Yeah, they're, they're, they seem to find a, a little bit of chemistry and, um, I really particularly like their response in the third as well. I mean, everybody came out and they were on the right page and got it done, but they were sharp. A lot of times, you know, with a player like Artemi and what he's done in this league, you guys have, you know, you're playing with him, you got to adjust to him a little bit. What has Alexi done to, to, to do that, to, to adjust to his game, you know, and play his game with him? Yeah, I, th I think Alexi's got a lot of skill that, that I think they think alike, and I think they have a lot of skill that matches up and connects on the ice. Um, he, Alexi thinks the game about making plays and how to create space and how to find areas to generate offense. And um, when you get two guys that can read off of each other and feed off of each other, that can become dangerous. And so I do think that Vinny, Vinny's done a really good job moving up in there and like adding, that's a little bit of a different element. That's a north-south physical guy that's heavy on the pucks and wins face-offs. Uh, but yet still has an unbelievable skill level to complement those two players. And so, um, you know, I, th I think that, I, you know, to me, um, Artemi seems like an easier player to play with because he has the puck and he makes things happen. If you can find spaces and find areas, you know, you can, you can generate. I know you didn't like the second period, but it looked like there was a time where you double shifted Benito, Cooley, and Kako. Uh, can you talk about their line and how they're gelling those three? This um, I do. I do like the line. I think they played well. I don't. I don't necessarily recall it. I mean, it could have been off of a timeout, or it could have been maybe a matchup that we were looking for, or something in the defensive zone. But um, you know, that line has been good. I think they've, they've been responsible, and they're. It seems like all the lines now have an equal balance, and they're rolling over the boards, and they're. they're they can become dangerous. Can you just say a few words on, on what Louis gave you tonight? Um, yeah. You know, you have the two guys are out and he steps in for you. Yeah, I thought he was, to, to me, he was in place on everything. Um, I thought he played a heck of a game. I thought defensively we were really good in the first, and even in the third we were pretty good. But goaltender still has to make saves. But, the, you know, his, you know, he, he, he really stepped up in that second period when I think they fired 30 attempts at our net. And, you know, you end up with 15 shots or whatever it is and a lot of quality scoring chances and he made some big saves and ultimately he gave us a chance at 1-1 to push into the third period and change the course of the game and um, really strong effort by the way. What's the level of appreciation for a guy like that 18 months since his last NHL start and still grinding and, and staying ready when he's called on? Yeah, I mean, he, he has played a lot of games. Like he's he's won a lot of games and and at this at this level and um, you know how that's based on what we've got going on, you know, and not having the two guys available to be able to have a guy like that, a veteran, kind of a veteran guy, step in there 
he's been around, he's played some games, he's played on different teams, and he's had success. And so that was a that was a real positive tonight, knowing that we had a guy coming in here that, you know, it's not his it's not his first rodeo. He's he's been around and he's done things, and um, he really stepped up big for us. Blake Wheeler gets his first. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It does. It did feel like it was coming. He's played. I think he's played better. You know, he talked about the first five or six games, and then every game it looks a little bit stronger. And again, I think just going up and playing with. Um, uh, Mika and Kreis, I think that has been a positive for all of the lines. Like it's it's been good for that line, but it's been good for all the lines. It just seems to be a little bit better of a balance. Yeah, maybe three weeks ago, you were standing here after the Nashville game. You didn't like it. Yeah. You're eight zero in one sense. What's yeah. been the common theme here? Um, <clears throat> it's um it's hard to paint it with one brush because I think every game's a little bit different. So it's hard to say well we did this well. Um, there's been games where I, I think we're a little bit loose defensively, and yet we're still able to get a, a point in Minnesota, or we were able to, you know, score a couple goals on the power play. And I do think that when you stay tight defensively, um, like we were for two periods tonight, when you stay tight defensively, defend hard, um, I think you got a chance of winning hockey games. And so I think that's been good. Um, the power play has been excellent. That's really helped, I think, inside of that streak. And it, to me, the, the five on five is starting to connect a little bit um, and generate as well. So I think there's, it's never, for me, it's never one thing. You know, if you go 10 and 0, say a team goes 10 and 0, not ours, but any team, it's never probably just one thing. It's probably a bunch, a combination of a bunch of different things that you, you know, you can have objectives on what you think is necessary to be successful. If you can check off eight out of those 10 objectives and, and you can do it consistently, you're probably going to find yourself winning hockey games.